Us. and uh, today I want to tell you guys about a fig tree that I'm selling um, and inform you guys of a little bit of an announcement um, essentially um, a lot of you have been asking me when I'm gonna sell my figs um, if I have any trees available um, if I have any cuttings available a lot of you guys have uh, some pretty interesting requests which is cool because um, some of it's a little bit unexpected um, a lot of you asked me where to get fig trees. I've shown you guys different um, nurseries you can go and buy fig trees from, which I recommend you either do in the fall um, or the spring to get trees. And in the, the winter time, that's when you should start thinking about getting cuttings because you can, you can root them indoors. And um, it's just really the best time to do that. So this is a website here that we're on right now that is called figbid.com and this is a listing here I just created of a two-in-one Franken fig of two different varieties and as you guys know I have most of my trees now are pretty much Franken figs with multiple varieties grafted onto it onto the same tree and I think it's pretty nice to have a small tree like this with multiple varieties onto it. Um, so you kind of get a little bit more bang for your buck. Now, um, on this particular website, you know, it's similar to eBay. And the whole reason why I haven't talked about this website yet or eBay is because, well, on eBay, there's a lot of scammers, a lot of people trying to get your money. Um, you know, there's a lot of uh, untrustworthy sellers out there, whether or not they're even trying to scam you. Um, and Figbit has done a does do a good job of getting rid of a lot of those scammers. Um, so a lot of people on here, you can trust them more than you can trust some of the people on eBay. Not that uh, everyone on eBay is a scammer or everyone on eBay is untrustworthy. Um, you kind of have to know, and this is kind of why I've been delaying making a video like this, is that you kind of have to know who you're buying from and who you can trust. Um, I personally have a few sellers uh, that I would buy trees from. Most of my things I, I trade for, you know, with people I know, people that are friends. Um, and those people that I would buy from you know, a lot of them are on eBay or on Figbid. So, um, but I think Figbid is just a better place to have some safety. Um, my friend Danny, um, he's a really great guy. He used to work for the uh, NYPD and he recognized a problem on eBay of just so many scammers and untrustworthy people that he decided to create Figbid. And that's what really spurred this whole thing. Um, and I know I can trust Danny, I can trust his judgment. He's done a really good job. I, have, I haven't I have really even um, joined this website for since it started. I think it's been about six months now. Um, I think he started it up this past winter and I just recently joined because I've just been observing how the website has been operating. Um, you know, if there's been any problems, I can honestly say this is a very good place to buy fig trees or fig cuttings. Now, let's just view the website here for a little bit. So, you know, you can see that here's a listing. It tells you how much time is left. You can scroll through photos, you know, very similar to eBay. You know, you've got a description down here. You place your bid. You know, you can pay with PayPal. Um, you know, it's got a rating system, which I have zero ratings as of yet because I've not listed anything or, or uh, bought anything. Um, but you can go to the browse section here. And you'll see these different categories along the side. And there's many fig trees being listed. You can see from different sellers here. This is from my friend Chuck. Chuck, if you're watching, what's going on, man? Um, and then you can see my tree all the way down here at the bottom. Uh, you can go back 
to these categories and you can look at uh, cuttings if you were looking at cuttings this is a guy I know named Chris this is uh, Olga you know I know all these people by pretty much by their first name because I've spent a pretty decent amount of time talking this is my friend Brian you know there's a uh, there's a lot of people this is my friend Tony so you know a lot of my friends and people that I normally trade with and get these things from are on this website and it's really like I said it's a safe it's a safer place to get these fig trees and fig cuttings from now there's also other things on here things that are you know related to fig trees or related to growing fig trees and my friend Devin has tree tags on here and I recently just did a video on the brand of tree tag that I recommend just a couple days ago and why it's important to have tree tags. My friend Devin, however, makes them custom. And I have a tree, by the way, that he gave me. It's a plum tree that has that tree tag on it that he custom made. And they're they're very they're of much better quality, I have to say, than the Impresso tag that I recommended in the previous video I did this week and then you also have things on here that are not fig related that again my friend Devin is selling here he's selling a whole bunch of plum trees um, I think he's selling some apple trees if I'm not mistaken these are all plums here's an apple here's another apple and he grafted all these trees himself and um, you got some pawpaw trees on here different things you got comfrey on here you know, I don't necessarily know everyone on this website, but um, I would really like to sell other non-fig related things on this website as well. Uh, I'm going to be selling blackberry cuttings for sure. Um, I'm going to sell, let's see, what else do I want to sell? Probably some mulberry cuttings, definitely mulberry cuttings. I'm going to be cutting my mulberry tree all the way back down, so I'm going to have so many cuttings I'm not going to know what to do with them. Um, you could start an entire orchard with the amount of cuttings I'm going to have. Um, I'm, I'm going to sell persimmons, persimmon cuttings for sure. Um, maybe some apples, maybe some, you know, stone fruits and pears. I'm not, I'm not, I'm undecided on that, but if there's enough interest in those things, I may end up selling more. Maybe I'll sell some strawberry plants. So, um, you know, I'm not really uh, a seller, you know, I've been doing this this whole fig thing as a hobbyist but you know it is nice to make a couple extra dollars because the amount of money that I put into my videos the amount of money I put into this hobby um, it doesn't I don't make that money back uh, really much at all so you know I spend quite a bit of money on soil and mulch and plants and cuttings and you know even different camera things that I've been upgrading recently so, you know, um, not complaining or anything, but it will be nice to be able to put things on here and have you guys, you know, if you have any questions or if I'm selling anything, this will be the place that I'm selling it at. And I'll try to make a, another video letting you guys know that sometime in November, um, it'll be mid to late November, I'll start selling cuttings. That's when my trees go dormant. I'm not sure if I'll have many more trees or fig trees to sell um, this year that I'll be able to ship. I may have some that someone can come by locally and pick them up in Pennsylvania. Um, but really most of the things I'm going to be able to sell for you guys is going to be in mid to late November. So I'll make a post on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. You know, you guys can follow me there if you didn't already know that. And then I'll also make a video letting you guys know, hey, I have some uh, fig cuttings that people can can purchase if they want. So anyway, guys, that is, I believe, the video. Um, you can read up all about this website should you choose. It's really well run. Um, like I said, my friend Danny runs it. I, you know, he really did a nice job for the community, a nice thing for the community setting up this website it really has been a nice thing and i think we all should give him a round of applause so cheers to danny and uh i'll talk to you all later all right take care guys